genuine corresponding place for themselves in these common cosmic actualizations. In short, the transmutation in themselves of an all-round understanding of the functioning of both these fundamental sacred laws conduces to this that in the common presences of three-brained beings, data are crystallized for engendering that divine property, which it is indispensable for every normal three-brained being to have, and which exists under the name of Semuniranus. Of this your favorites have also an approximate representation, and they call it impartiality. And so, my dear boy, our common Father Creator Almighty, having then in the beginning changed the functioning of both these primordial sacred laws, directed the action of their forces from within the Most Holy Son Absolute into the space of the universe, whereupon there was obtained the what is called emanation of the Son Absolute, and now called Theomert Malogos, or Word God. For the clarity of certain of my future explanations, it must here be remarked that in the process of the creation of the now existing world, the divine willpower of our endlessness participated only at the beginning. The subsequent creation went on automatically of its own accord, entirely without the participation of his own divine willpower, thanks only to these two changed fundamental primordial cosmic laws. And the process itself of creation proceeded then in the following successiveness. Thanks to the new particularity of the fifth stopender of the sacred Heptaparapashanoch, these emanations issuing from the Sun Absolute began to act at certain definite points of the space of the universe upon the prime source cosmic substance Etherocrylno, from which, owing to the totality of the former and the new particularities of the sacred primordial laws, certain definite concentrations began to be concentrated. Further, Thanks to these factors, and also to their own laws of Heptaparapashanoch and Triamazikamno, which had already begun to arise in these definite concentrations, with their action upon each other, everything which had to be, gradually began to be crystallized in these concentrations. And as a result of all this, those large concentrations were obtained which exist also until now and which we now call second-order suns. When these newly arisen suns had been completely actualized and their own functionings of both the fundamental laws had been finally established in them, then in them also, similarly to the Most Most Holy Son Absolute, their own results began to be transformed and to be radiated, which, together with the emanations issuing from the Most Most Holy Son Absolute into the space of the universe, became factors for the actualization of the common cosmic fundamental process of the sacred law of Triamazikamno. And that is to say, the Most Most Holy Theomert Malogos began to manifest itself in the quality of the third holy force of the sacred Triamazikamno. The result of any one of the newly arisen second order suns began to serve as the first holy force. And the results of all the other newly arisen second order suns in relation to this mentioned one newly arisen sun as the second holy force of this sacred law. Thanks to the process of the common cosmic sacred Triamazikamno, thus established in the space of the universe, crystallizations of different what is called density 
gradually began to be formed around each of the second order suns, out of that same prime source, Etherokrilno. And grouping themselves around these newly arisen suns, new concentrations began to take form, as a result of which more new suns were obtained, but this time third order suns. These third order concentrations are just those cosmic concentrations which at the present time are called planets. At this very place in the process of the first outer cycle of the fundamental sacred Heptaparapashanach, namely after the formation of the third order suns, or planets, just here, owing to the changed fifth deflection of the sacred Heptaparapashanach, which as I've already said is now called Harnel Aut, the initially given momentum for the fundamental completing process, having lost half the force of its vivifyingness, began in its further functioning to have only half of the manifestations of its action outside itself, and the other half for itself, i.e. for its very own functioning, the consequences of which were that on these last big results, i.e. on these said third order suns or planets, there began to arise what are called similarities to the already arisen. And as after this, surrounding conditions of actualizations were everywhere established corresponding to the manifestation of the second particularity of the fifth stopender of the fundamental sacred Heptaparapashanach, Therefore, from then on, the actualization of the fundamental outer cycle of the sacred Heptaparapashanach ceased, and all the action of its functioning entered forever into the results already manifested by it, and in them there began to proceed its inherent permanent processes of transformation called evolution and involution. And then, thanks this time to a second grade cosmic law which is called Litzvertsi, or the aggregation of the homogeneous, there began to be grouped on the planets themselves from the mentioned relatively independent new formations named similarities to the already arisen, yet other also relatively independent formations. Thanks just to these processes of evolution and involution, inherent in the sacred Heptaparapashanach, there also began to be crystallized and decrystallized in the presences of all the greatest and smallest cosmic concentrations, all kinds of definite cosmic substances with their own inherent subjective properties, and which objective science calls active elements. And all the results of the evolution and involution of these active elements, actualizing the trogoato egocratic principle of existence of everything existing in the universe by means of reciprocal feeding and maintaining each other's existence, produce the said common cosmic process, iraniranumanj, or as I've already said, what objective science calls common cosmic exchange of substances. And so, my boy, thanks to this new system of the reciprocal feeding of everything existing in the universe, in which our most most holy Son Absolute itself participated, there was established in it that equilibrium, which at the present time no longer gives the merciless hero pass any possibility of bringing about anything unforeseen whatsoever to our most great and most most holy Son Absolute. And thus, the motive for the divine anxiety of our almighty unibeing endlessness concerning the wholeness of his eternal place of dwelling disappeared forever. Here it is necessary to tell you that when this most wide divine actualization was finished, 
our triumphant cherubim and seraphim then gave for the first time to all the newly arisen actualizations those names which exist even until today every relatively independent concentration in general they then defined by the word cosmos and to distinguish the different orders of arising of these 